All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. All right, give double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching is true. All right, I'm Yakanan, GMS Memphis. Okay, and uh, I came across this article. <coughs> Uh, just a few, uh, about a couple of hours ago, okay, on uh, fox13.com, it says black women face greater risk of eviction than any other group. And, uh, you know, we we understand that, that, that they're just speaking of Israelite women, all right, because um, the Lord has put a, a strong delusion on the Israelite woman. Okay, she's uh, uh, caught up into the ways of, uh, you know, Esau, Edom, and this kingdom, all right? And, uh, you know, they bought into this uh, this feminism, um, you know, bought into the ways of, uh, you know, you don't need a man for anything. I can do bad all by myself, you know, uh, that independent woman spirit. And um, you know, ultimately, man, it's been it's been to their destruction, man. Because as you see here, you have uh, uh, Israelite women getting evicted at a at a at a higher rate than any other uh, uh, race of uh, people. All right, I'm gonna read this article. It's not it's not that long. I'm gonna read it and then just get a couple of scriptures. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'm going to just go into Isaiah, the 32nd chapter, you know, brothers, I already know what it is, you know, and, uh, and Lord willing, this be edifying for the elect. So it says a new, a salaki, a alarming new study reveals black women have a higher chance of getting evicted than any other group. Experts don't see this troubling trend across the country turning around anytime soon. It says, throughout the pandemic, many people took advantage of resources offered through the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Data shows that 85% of those served were black women, Israelite women, all right, because they, they're taking full advantage of, of uh, you know, Esau handing out those benefits. And, you know, it, the results are, you know, not, not going into the Israelite woman's favor right now. You know, they pushed all those uh, unrighteous degrees of, of, you know, making sure the man couldn't be in the house to, to uh, receive those benefits and things of that sort. And, you know, it sounded good. Everything sounded all good. But, hey, as the devil is, man, he's going to eventually show his horns, man. And that's what a lot of these women are seeing now is that, uh, you know, these hard times are coming and things are getting bad out here, man. You got gas prices through the roof, okay, uh, food food shortages. The food is raising up. The, the uh, uh, inflation is kicking in. And uh, a lot of these women just can't just can't handle it, man. Okay, but it says, "Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? How am I going to be able to get the money to stay here in my house?" Joy Smith, who is facing eviction, said, "These thoughts ran through Smith's mind when when we talked to her a year ago. She and her two kids were facing eviction." It's hard because as a mom, I want my children to have everything, says Smith. New data released by University of California, Berkeley, reveals Smith was not alone. Black women face the highest risk of getting an eviction notice than any other group. It says the study revealed eviction notices are filed at twice the rate of white women nationally, and Shelby County is no exception. Data shows that 85% of people served through the Emergency Rental Assistance Program were black mothers between the ages of 29 and 35. And these are, uh, are you know, fairly young Israelite women. But that's around that, that you know, the age that, that uh, you know, they're buying into the hype. 
All right. It's, like I say, it's coming back to bite bite a lot of these women, you know, because that one thing's for sure, man. You if you had a, a a man in that household, it would make things a lot easier, man. You know, a working man. I say that a man uh, that's that's working. You know, a Jake just not sitting around, you know, playing PlayStation and and eating Funyuns. You know, but but that that's actually you know holding a job and. You know, you know, working. But hey, a lot of these women ran the men off, man. You know, but it says uh, it's a it's just a situation where these women are are in a vulnerable situation, and oft, oft, oftentimes get relief in our court systems. <clears throat> uh, let me jump down a little bit because uh, it's pretty much. Really, that's the point, man. I'm not going to read all this. It's the point. Let me just go ahead and get the uh, scriptures. You see a lot of, uh, you know, Israelite women are getting, uh, getting ready to get, get the boot, man. They're about to start getting evicted, man. You know? And that's due to, like I said, following the ways of, uh, of, of Esau Edom, man, the serpent. Following the serpent in his ways, man. Okay? That's that's ultimately uh, uh, leading our women right to the you know to the slaughterhouse, man. Because they're not gonna make it, man. If they don't repent and 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 turn back, you know, and get under uh, a man of the Lord, you know, bow down and come off of that high horse, you know, shake shake that pride, then hey, they're, they're not gonna make it, man. And this is uh Isaiah thirty two and two. It says, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a, co a cover from the tempest as rivers of water and a dry place as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right, and that man is, is going to be a man of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man, a man of the Lord. We're going to be as uh, be into these women as a, 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 a shelter, man. <sighs> Matter of fact, I'm going to read it in the NLT. It says, each one will be like a shelter from the wind and a refuge from the storm, like streams of water in a desert and a shadow of a great rock in a parched land. Right, so hey, that man is going to be that covering, that hedge, and that protection for a woman, you know? And and, and women love comfort, man. They love being uh, uh, in a comfortable situation. So uh, a woman... Is definitely going to be looking for a man that she feels uh, uh, can protect her, man. All right? And the only protection that, that's going to be had in, in the days and times to come is going to be for for the men uh, of the elect, man. You know, an elect man of Yahweh by Shema Shai. He's going to have that hedge. He's going to have that mercy and that protection, man. And that's what uh, women are going to be looking for. So that's why we say when uh, Isaiah... Um, Four and one kicks in, okay. Women, we're we're not gonna be uh worried about a woman, man, because we understand hey, they they they're gonna come. <laughs> All we gotta do is continue to push the word, man, and, and, and preach this truth, and you know let the Lord handle the rest, man. You're gonna be you know beating women off of you with a stick, man. You're gonna be uh, uh running away from them, in, in the days and times to come, man. And we see it right now. You know, you got women right now that, that can't even, uh, uh, you know, that they're, they're getting evicted, man. They can't even keep a roof over their head. Okay? So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, let me get this, and uh, that'll be it. This is Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give give ear unto my speech. You know, I'm going to read in NLT also. It says, Listen, you women who lie around at ease listen to me you who are smug who are so smug right because hey a lot of these women are at ease man they 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 think everything is going to continue to go on the way it is man when we're we're letting you know hey you need to rise up you need to wake up and come out of that that strong delusion that Esau Edom has you under or or else it's going to be too late for you man and that's what we're telling all our people man but hey you women, you're going to catch it the hardest, man, okay? Because a lot of the two-thirds 
are 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 going to be uh, women, man. You know, and that's just according to the numbers, man. There's more women than men. All right. It says, uh, uh, verse ten: Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right, so hey, now's the time, man, for you women to to uh snap out of it, man, and to uh come and 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 start serving you how about Shemal Shai in truth and sincerity. And the way you're gonna do that is is uh getting in order, man. Getting under a man of the Lord. All right, and playing your position, man. Okay, like Brother Amawan Gabar always says in 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 the, uh, the the main camp in New York. Hey, you you need to be learning how to uh, cook, reading cookbooks, things of that sort, man, to make yourself useful. You know, learn how to sew, learn how to cook, learn how to do things that are are, are going to be beneficial, man, to a to a man. You know. And that day, do do more than just be able to uh, offer a man some box, man. You know, offer your body because they uh, uh, that <laughs> that's not gonna cut it, man. Uh, a true man, a Lord, man, is not not even thinking about that, man. You know, because hey, hey, you're not his anyway. You're not, you know, if you want the the first uh, man to 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 uh, to open that woman, man, it's it's used goods. You basically damage goods, man. You know, so. Hey, hey, bad times are coming upon the earth, and it's going to be especially bad for, for a lot of you women, man, you Israelite women, man, if you don't wake up and snap out of it, man, all right? But, hey, we, we understand it, it. It is what it is, man. It's all up to the Lord on who's going to uh, make it and who's going to be delivered, you know, and uh, and to be honest, my focus is is is, is uh, making it my damn self, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be saved and delivered, man. Lord willing, I can be a part of that number, and I can save uh, uh, my family as well, man. You know, the hell with you women, man. I get, I get, I get my women on the other side, man. You know, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this lesson out. Lord willing, it was edifying for the elect. Once again, I I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhodash. Give double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS. Salutations and blessings to the elect. Shalom.